Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow fans of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We're back. We had a week off um, because of, well, some sports, I think, that were going on in America. You know, come on, America, get your shit together. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is more important than sports. Um, so, yes, moving on. Episode 5. Last episode, we saw that um, May got captured by Sarge, which is going to be a really interesting story. To see how those two interact, to see what information we glean from it, um, I, I, mm, I don't envy May right now because she's having to face someone who, um, presumably, because I still think there's more going on, but presumably, um, you know, she has seen die, um, someone who she loved dearly, and you know, I can't imagine that's very easy. We also saw Deke. Deke for the first time this season, who has fully made up for lost time. Um, he has taken every single advantage he could from being from the future. Started up his own tech company. Um, seemed like he was doing really well. He had a, a blogger girlfriend. Um, but he came under attack by Sarge and his crew um, because he wasn't supposed to be there. Now, whereas I think they are searching for aliens and for things that are trying to do all kinds of harm... Um, I think that he's gotten caught up in the crossfire because he's not from that time. So that's why he's being picked up on their sort of radars. Um, the aliens, I mean, we saw the aliens and, and the horrifying things that they do. They're kind of like these bat things, but they're, they're more like parasites. And they turn people into crystal. Um, or at least there's some kind of a reaction that causes them to become crystal. And, you know, it was kind of heartbreaking with Yo-Yo last episode where, you know... She'd been, she'd been um, chasing this relationship, you know, now that Max, the director, and he's kind of pushing everyone away. And um, it just didn't work, unfortunately. She had to watch her lover just die in front of her eyes um, in a most horrendous and horrific way. So, um, yeah, who knows what's going to happen in this episode. The, the, nothing even happened with Fitz and Simmons um, in the last episode. So, I don't know whether they're going to carry on with this format of you know, sort of one episode in space, one episode on Earth, one episode in space. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So, um, anyway, let's jump into this episode and let's see what happens. Oh, no. Don't do that to us. It's not fair. Am I dizzy? Because you have violent tendencies. I'm going to turn you. What? Nope. You can't turn me. She's untenable. Unbreakable. Just take a minute. You lost to someone that's never easy. I'm getting used to losing people. That's sad. I didn't have a choice. This isn't a job I take lightly. I have to be responsible for everyone. I wasn't getting in the way of that. I was afraid. No. Mm. Afraid that I couldn't measure up to Coulson. And now his doubles out there killing people and then we've lost ship identical to the many that surround us came after fits in me we barely escaped in the ejection pod oh take him as soon as they're inside Open it's not going to be what they expect is it if they wanted us dead they would cut this ship in two yeah they would have blown it out the sky what is wrong with you <laughs> Sorry. Perhaps it is not the Confederacy at all. Yep. Yeah. No, no, stop. No, Enoch's on to something. I don't like this. What are they building to? It's a bright white light. Hello, Atara. Who's a Tara? Enoch. Is she another Chronicom? Time. A Tara. Even for you, this is highly aggressive. Why have you taken such action? In order to survive. So they are all. You're being purposefully ominous. You're hiding something. Our home world has been destroyed. All that remains of oh. the Chronicom race are aboard this fleet. 
Oh shit. Two is gone. That cannot be. <gasps> what if Sarge destroyed it? What happened? In recent years, there were whispers of strange phenomena on distant planets. Oh, that's why they took Fitz. Oh, it's a hologram. What is this? Silence. Gemma. Gemma! Is he on the ship? Oh. Stop this! Hurt Fitz one more time and I will tear the ship apart. I've heard reports of what Quake can do. Which is why Leopold Fitz is being held on another ship. If anything mm. comes to me, those ships will scatter across the galaxy. Well, they've got them in a tight spot. Or you will never find him. <laughs> We're not laughing. Oh no. Weird. It's just. Did you uh, read that in a book? Because that's such a cheesy way to ask a girl for a date. Like I said, I planned to say it, but as you know, I never did. You chickened out. I don't like this. Intimidating back then. This is so sad. You were too nerdy for me back then. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hmm. The man's dying and you want him to go get you drinks? Too much wine? No, it's the other thing. You're gonna do great. When the screaming starts, you want to stab this up under his ribcage. Oh, has he got one of them in him? No one's gonna hurt you. I'm gonna... Whoa! Ha ha! No one's gonna hurt you. They're just gonna kill you. Um, he's got one of those things in him, hasn't he? Oh, ow. It's not going to stop him. Get the knife. Get the knife. Oh, that was close. I am trying to save our entire race. And you are concerned about the welfare of one human. Why? Because we have recently become best friends. It seems best that buds. Made you soft. I do not disagree that I have changed. But I believe it is for the better. One must change to grow. I hardly recognize you anymore. Malachi, dispose of the criminal on my command. No, wait. Bring him back. Daisy, stop this. Now, then give me what I want. There was a machine that controlled a time monolith, but it was in the future and it's been destroyed. That's all we know. Who built this machine? We have no idea. Convenient. It's true. The machine was there when we arrived. It was built on old designs. If so, that is most unfortunate. Oh, dear. Perhaps I have no further use for any of you. Enoch, help us stop this. I have not seen this future myself, but there is only one logical conclusion. Mm-hmm. You claim he is your best friend, but we are the last of our kind. You have knowledge that could aid us. What would motivate him to do what we need? Gemma. Uh... Huh. The tables attend. Put Gemma Simmons in danger and Fitz can solve anything. What the hell? <laughs> Let him live. And her. Kill the others. No. They need Fitz alive, which means they won't kill him. I can kick her ass. Yeah. Let's go. You're not creating these things. You're trying to stop them. We follow them to a new world, then track anything that doesn't belong there and kill it. That's why you came yeah. to Deke. Our tracker shows he's not from here, but he's no Shrike. What is he? Exhausting. <laughs> Nothing good has come from these things. And these monoliths each had unique capabilities. Uh, control something different? Yeah. Space, time. Yeah. This one, we never found out. Oh. We don't know where they're from. Uh, much at all, but they're extremely powerful. Well, molecularly, 
They're the same. Appear to be similar. Shit, man. Well, if monoliths control space and time, maybe these control life and death. So, if there are more of these creatures, then how bad could it get? This is the closest I've come to stopping it, and I've been hunting for as long as I can remember. And how long is that exactly? What do you remember? Yeah, she's trying to figure out. Back. You got anything before that? I've been tearing my way through this galaxy since before you were born. You don't look old enough for that. I've lived on planets moving at almost the speed of light. I've been alive for a hundred of your years, and I'll be alive a hundred years after you're gone. Wow. Your man may have run out of time, but for me, the tick of the clock is only getting louder. What? Don't joke about that anymore. You know I hate it. I'm talking about you. And what's next? No, don't shoot. Daisy, don't. Simmons, get out of the way. Enoch was right. Fitz can't solve time travel without me. But not as a hostage, as his partner. As a partner, yeah. Fitz and I, we're a team. Let the others leave and I'll go with you. No, 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 no. don't do this. We will find another way. But there isn't one. No. We're impossible. This is the best way. But we're unarmed. Even if we make it to the Zephyr, there's a fleet of ships waiting to blast us into oblivion. I can help you break free from your chrysalis of negativity. Whatever you say. She's a hippie. You'll be reborn and then you'll see. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I told you I'd make it hurt. Don't you love this face? Oh shit, no, stop it. Oh. Light on control, this is Zephyr One. Requesting permission to land. Yeah! But they think they're bringing back Fitz. You are the absolute worst. On the bright side, oh, shit. And Simmons will be together. The last thing that I would ever want is for Simmons to be in danger. Yeah. And you knew that. Get out. I came here to tell you we are nearing our destination and that uh oh I will always consider you a friend. No, what's he going to do? The hell? What are you doing? Enoch. He's going to try and break him out. Okay, so, um, once again this week, it didn't have the, uh, we'll be back in a moment segment, sort of, you know, like the little one, two minute clip that tends to come in at the end of each episode. I don't know if there was one, um, but I didn't have it on the version that I was watching. Um, yeah, good episode, very good episode. Um, a lot happened, we learned a lot about the motivation behind Sarge and his crew. Um, it was mostly expected for me in terms of what, you know, they they were there for. Um, I didn't think they were there to necessarily destroy Earth because they wanted to destroy it. They were there to prevent some kind of bigger problem. Um, and they weren't necessarily evil. You know, I think it's it's they are very morally grey in terms of they will do whatever is necessary to achieve their goals, which includes kill people. But their ultimate goal is to save people. Um, so it's it's kind of one of those twisted kind of situations where you have to think about the consequences of their actions um but you know they're they're not they're not necessarily good people but they're not bad people it's weird um very interesting to say that he's lived for a hundred years cult the sarge has lived for a hundred years and he'll live for another hundred years at least um and the fact that they were having these very clever back and forths between the final days of May and obviously the things that he was saying in the present. Definitely, in my mind, there's a few theories as to what is going on there. Um, we obviously learned that the, the, the Shrike, as they're called, are made from the same materials as the monoliths. Um, it makes me wonder if this creator also made the monoliths 
And if so, the monoliths, you know, we heard them say maybe the third one controls life and death. So I'm thinking that maybe they're going to work a way to bring Phil Coulson back using that third monolith. Um, or at least some variation of its power. Um, and maybe he gets sent back in time, you know, lives for 100 years, ends up where he is now. And he's been gone so long, his memory's just completely gone, you know. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe he is the Phil Coulson resurrected, sent back in time, and his memory gets completely sort of, not necessarily wiped, but suppressed. Um, and maybe that's the way that they want to bring him back into the show. I, it'd be a very interesting way. Um, and I'm all for having the old Phil back. It was really nice to have just some glimpses of that old Phil Coulson and to see some of the time that him and May spent together and see them interacting. That was really nice. Um, as I say, very cleverly done because it's pulling on the heartstrings, man. Um, and yeah, you know, it was just, it was a very well put together episode. Um, you know, obviously Fitz and Simmons are going to be together, but in a dangerous situation. Um, and you know, I can't blame Enoch for what he did. He, in his mind, he did the right thing. I don't know what he was doing at the end there. I don't know if he was trying to get Fitz out or if he was trying to, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. One thing I was thinking is maybe that he was just trying to stop Fitz from being able to prevent the destruction of his planet, you know, changing the timeline even further. Um, I honestly do not know what his motivation is there. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have to see. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but, you know, I think things are going to really start heating up. Um, I, you know, the fact that they've now got Sarge, they've got the whole crew in the lighthouse. Now, that could be a good thing or a bad thing because they've all got them together. I can definitely see Sarge and his crew trying to break out. Um, and they could cause all kinds of untold destruction. Um, or they could end up all working together, come to an agreement not to destroy Earth, but to take out the creator. Also, I'm just so interested as to who the creator is, you know? There's so much potential. With us being technically in the past and having seen a glimpse of the future last season, they could bring in any number of characters that, you know, maybe we've we've seen before or heard about. So, um, who knows what's going to happen. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you for the next one.